everybody. In this video, this is part three of the automata assembly. Um, and what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to get these little guides up here, insert it into the holes as they're needed, and those will hold the dowel rods in place. And then I'm going to show you how to keep them from rotating, um, kind of lock them into place. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through, and first we're going to insert constraint. So it would be this one here. I'm going to choose one of the surfaces here. This one's fine, the bottom surface of the follower, or excuse me, of the guide. And I'm going to choose the top surface of the hole. There we go. It's ready to go. It's fine. You'll notice if you insert it the other way, it tries to embed it. You can see the materials overlapping. That's not going to work. That's not realistic. So we really want the opposed version in this case. I'm going to click apply. I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. Bottom surface, top surface. Let's get those things locked together. Now, looks like it's fine and dandy, but the problem is, is these followers, or these guides, excuse me, um, are actually rotating right now. So what I'm going to do to lock them together is this. It's going to be really simple. You'll notice over here in the browser, again, I explained this in the last video, but they each have their origin folder. And if I expand that, I can, ex you know, any of these planes, this one may be fine. This one would be fine because it cuts directly through the center of the guide. I'm going to make it visible. You'll notice that it automatically, because I made it changed for the part, that both parts now it's visible. So that's pretty convenient. And I'm going to go through, I'm going to just use an angle constraint excuse me, angle constraint, and I'm going to do two of these. The first one I'm going to do is this. I'm going to say this one here and this one here need to be aligned. So now, zero degrees between them. If one turns, the other turns. You can see now they're spinning, right? So then the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do one more angle constraint, and this time I'm going to take the work plane and say that it can't have any variation from, say, the side of the box. We didn't like that. Oh, because I have the wrong kind of angle constraint. Let's try that again. Okay. Angle constraint. I need a directed angle. I'm going to choose this work plane and say that it needs to be aligned with the box. There we go. I'm going to click OK. And now what I have are these two things locked in place. They cannot move. They cannot spin. That's going to be really important for us later on because when we go place cams, we're actually going to use that work plane that cuts through the middle to line up our cam directly below it. So there you go. Quick video this time. That's part three. How do we add the follower guides up at the top and keep them from moving?